Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, 23 Flavors of Stitching. My name is Kirsten and today is going to be another stitch with me. Um, my hair's a little wild. I put it up just for the videos, oh my gosh, just so the videos that I don't have to worry about it getting in the way. Um, I thought it would be fun to do a little face-to-face -face video today. I was just feeling it. Um, I am going to be stitching on Knee High by, um, I don't know how to say her last name, but Kathy from Hands On Design. Um, and I'm sorry if you can't hear me, I'm trying to project. For some reason, after work today, my voice just has not wanted to be there. So, um, that's what I'm going to be working on. I am stitching it on 18 count dirty, and I'm doing my own conversion. Um, have all of the colors right here. I just went off of the picture as well as the DMC alternatives that were listed. Um, I don't think I had any of the called for. Yeah, I didn't have any of the called for, but I just went off of the picture as well as the um, DMC alternatives. And I think I did some pretty good color matching, if I do say so myself. So I do know that my piece of floss for this is downstairs so I have to get a new one out. Um, so I'm going to be, so I started in the sun and right now I'm doing the yellow stitches which I am using Weeks Dye Works Marigold. So let's get to chatting. Um, I, I know that you can buy this chart as a paper chart but I was watching Marty Triple M Stitching. She hasn't made a video in a while. She's been finishing up her master's degree. Um, she found it on a magazine. I can't remember which one it was now. Let's see if I can see it. Um, Just Cross Stitch Magazine from August 2015. And... I was using the Readly app, I think. Um, I have since canceled my subscription, but um, I was able to get this pattern. And so yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, so let's get going. <clears throat> so I just, today is Friday, July 15th. I, uh, I think it's around three. I left work at two because I was already, <clears throat> excuse me, I was already at um, 30 hours when I went in today. And so I only had to get to 35 and then I could leave. And that's been nice. Um, after work, I went to Sonic because for some reason a corn dog just sounded really good and so I got one <laughs> and it tasted amazing like one of the best things that I've tasted in 
the last couple days. Which, you know, it's a sonic corn dog. It should not taste that amazing. And then you can see I got a drink back here. I got the biggest size they have, which is an RT44, which just means it's root 44. And it's just, I'm pretty sure it's just a 44 ounce drink. But anyway, if you have the app for Sonic, then you get half price drinks all the time instead of just during happy hour. And so I got a cherry limeade. They have also been tasting really good to me lately. I went twice in a day because I had finished one and I, I wanted another one. So, um, I have already had, um, have already had to frog for this project. I had picked a gray that um, was too dark for my liking for this part. And so I picked it. I didn't realize that it was too dark until I was looking at the cover photo and I was like, oh, I don't really like that. I don't like how dark it is compared to like the yellows. So I was looking at the cover photo and I was like, huh, that's weird. And so I, while I was stitching, I just looked up because I have my Leo and Roxy and my DMC hanging on some pegboards right behind you, right in front of me. And, um, Anyway, I saw just right in front, I saw DMC 168 and I was like, yep, that's the color. So, um, hold on one sec. Okay, we're back. Um, I had to answer a text. Okay. Okay, um... This is my dolphin. I got it in Hawaii when we were there for Christmas. I think it was Christmas. Yeah, when we were there for Christmas. And I got my niece a matching beluga whale. I still have not named my dolphin. So, if anyone has any name suggestions for my cute little plushy dolphin, let me know. She just makes me smile. <laughs> um, anyway. Let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, oh, you know what I was going to do before I started? I was going to put a good blend in my diffuser. Um, so that I could smell it. But, oh well. Um... See, I've been trying not to do as many life updates in my floss tube updates, floss tube videos, and I've been keeping them for my Stitch With Me's mostly just because I need something to talk about <clears throat> in Stitch With Me's. So I guess I can tell you just a little bit about what's been going on. So, my husband and I put some money down on a house, and um, it will be a new build, so we have our first design appointment with the builders, um, like with their the builder's design team, 
Uh, we have our first appointment on August 5th, which I'm really excited about. I've been looking at Pinterest, trying to get lots of ideas and kind of nail down a little bit more of what we would like in our house and I'm really excited. Um, it won't be done until the beginning of 2023, which is totally fine. We are not in a huge rush to move out of where we're at, um, but it will be nice to get out. Um, the thing that will be the best is having a yard for the dogs. Just, I have a really hard time with the fact that my dogs don't have a yard and if they need to go outside or whatever, that I can't just be like, okay, go outside and like run around you know like they can't just play all day which makes me sad so i'm excited for that and i'm excited to move to a neighborhood that will be mostly um married couples, new families, because in the townhomes that we are at, it's mostly people who are downsizing, couples who are downsizing, or divorced couples, or divorced people um, who are older, and our only friends in our neighborhood that were in the same place in life basically except for they had one daughter and she just turned one and she was the cutest thing so besides like one kid we were relatively in the same stage of life they lived right across the way from us and they just moved in june and that was really sad when I saw the for sale sign go up, I texted her immediately and I was like, no, this is not happening. And so that was kind of sad. But it's okay. We will make it through. And so yeah, I'm excited. One of my cousins... Uh, just got married and they were also looking at houses in the same neighborhood that my husband and I put um, where we're going to build and so that would be really fun if they were living by us I think that would be really cool and who else oh, what else My husband is in his last five weeks, four to five weeks of school. I think it's four weeks now. And that's of his MBA program, so he will be done soon, which is wild. And we're really excited. We don't really have anything planned for when he graduates, I think. We just might try and go on a camping trip because we haven't been able to camp all summer because of school and me having a new job. And so I think we might just try and do that. Um, which I think would be really fun just to celebrate with a camping trip. Um, especially because that's one thing that we both really like to do and we go, um, there's an RV park, um, 
on the river that my husband likes to fish on, fly fish on, and so I get to go and cross stitch and hang out with the dogs and enjoy the outdoors and make sure that the camper stays clean and everything, and my husband gets to go fly fish. And so we're doing it together, but we're also still able to do our own separate things, which is really nice. And then we usually watch um, a show at night because we have a TV by our, by our bed. And so we usually watch a show at night and just wind down and then he wakes up early to go fishing and I sleep in with the dogs. And I've missed being able to do that this summer. Hopefully next summer we'll be able to go on more trips, more camping trips, that is. Um, but we will just have to see what schedules look like. Um... Oh, I also forgot to mention, where we are moving to is not very far away. It's like three minutes down the road, which is also really nice because we live next to some... Like, we like where we get our groceries from. Um, the only thing is that we live... Um, we don't really live by a lot of food places. They're all about, it's not that long of a drive, but it's not like they're super close. And where we are moving to is where all of the food and restaurants are being developed and being built and put up and everything. So... That will be nice to just be that much closer to the food. Like, I'd be able to ride my bike instead of having to drive everywhere, which would be like drive my car everywhere. So that would be fun. I like my bike. I got a new bike for my birthday last year and it has a basket on it and I love excuse me, and I love it. The only issue is my seat post doesn't stay clamped, so when I tighten it and clamp it, it, it will still move down, so I need to figure out what to do for that. I'm glad I caught that or Whew. almost had a knot. Um, let's see. What else has been going on? Honestly, I feel like I'm kind of boring because I feel like there's not a lot going on. Um, I've been in kind of a weird spot where I haven't really wanted to listen to music. While I'm doing things, I haven't really wanted to have a TV show playing in the background. Um, or like, I don't have a TV show that I want to listen to in the background. And I also haven't wanted to listen to Flosstube in the background lately, which is a little weird for me because usually that's what I would have in the background. Um, I've also found it interesting, I've stopped 
watching the YouTube channels of influencers that I used to watch, which I think, well, one, it's helped my wallet, <laughs> kind of, but also, I don't know, I think it's helped with comparisons and like, stuff like that but it's a little strange that I don't really have anything um to watch or listen to while I do other things because usually I do so or like there are some floss tube videos like whip parades that I don't want in the background and I just want to be able to have time to sit down and watch it and enjoy it and pay attention to what everyone else is stitching but maybe I don't have time to actually sit down and watch and so I have quite a few mid-year whip parades and quite a few intro videos that I have saved in my watch later because I can't give them the time and attention that I would like to give them which is also a little sad or frustrating some days Have you ever listened, like, not been talking, not been having a show or a podcast or whatever playing, and just listened to the sound that the thread and the needle and the fabric make? Because I don't know what it is, but I think it's one of the most relaxing sounds. If you don't find that relaxing, then I won't do it anymore. <laughs> but I think it's relaxing. There are some people on TikTok who do the printed cross stitch and it's always on like 14 count and so they use like four strands or something. And because of how many strands they're using, you can hear the floss pull being pulled through a little better. I think it sounds cool. Let's see. I feel like if I talk the whole time, then I don't get any stitching done. But then when I'm like, okay, I need to get some stitching done, then I forget to even speak. Um.
when I was getting ready to start this pattern, I looked at all of my bags that I have over there that um, are behind me when I do my frost tube videos lately. And I'm like, I do not need any more projects being started. I just need to finish some. should see how many minutes I've been silent. I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to just not talk, but to feel like someone's with you. Next color is my orange, which I'm using DMC for that. I think it might have been in May or sometime in June, I finished a new book called All Our Hidden Gifts, and it is set in Ireland, and this girl um, finds these tarot cards in her school and she learns how to read them and use them and everyone in her school it gets to the point where everyone in her school is basically bugging her for a reading and they start bugging her about giving a reading to one of her previous best friends, like someone that she wrote off and was rude to and everything. Um, and so she gives the reading 
except a card was in the deck that shouldn't have been there. And um, she kept trying to say that she didn't know what this card meant and her ex-best friend was getting really frustrated. She was like, just tell me what it means, just tell me what it means. And anyway, she basically ends up like wishing that this girl like didn't exist anymore. And then all of a sudden, because of that card, she doesn't exist. And it's kind of the story of I don't know, would you classify that as a coming of age? Coming of age slash how things are fixed um, or resolved or handled or whatever. Um, it was really good. I had to force myself to put the book down so that I could wake up and go to work. <laughs> so it must have been in May because I would stay up late and like I have a little um, book light and I would put it in like the chapter that I wanted to stop at so maybe like five chapters later or whatever and I would read like two to three chapters past that every night and I was like I need to stop doing this I just need to go to bed but I really liked the book and it's been a minute since I've had a book like that that I haven't wanted to put down so that was kind of cool Anything else? Um, not really. tired. Oh, tonight we're going to go see Elvis, which will be fun. Hopefully I don't fall asleep during it. Um, what else? It's not that late of a showing, but honestly, who knows? I could still fall asleep. I think we're going at like 6.45 or something. So. Which will be nice because then once we get back, I can still stitch for a minute. If I want to. Or maybe I'll just end up cleaning because that's what I did yesterday. And the day before. Um, I need to do some more laundry. So. I have to make sure I have clothes to wear to work next week. Oh, 
so behind my drink right here oh right here is a box um of a diffuser that I really wanted um that the company the essential oil company that I work for they um they don't manufacture them but like it was made for them anyway for a limited time offer and I was able to use some points to get one and then when I went to pick it up they were like oh we don't have any over here do you want us to try to get um, our fulfillment center to send one over or do you just want those 40 points back and then you can use them on something else? And I ended up just asking for the points back so that I could use them on something else. And then the lady who sits behind me at work, she was, um, she has a daughter who works in something with like new products, limited time products, all that. And the lady behind me heard me talking about how I wanted one of this kind of a diffuser. And I was really bummed that they didn't have any when I went to go pick up my order. And she was like, oh, which one is that? So I told her. And she was like, oh, I think, I think we have a few of those um, in my garage and they're just sitting there. I'll bring one to you. I was like, oh, you don't have to do that. And she's like, no, I'll bring one to you because they're just sitting in our garage. And if you really want one, then, and like, you're going to use it, then might as well. So she brought it to me yesterday, two days ago, and I am so excited. I already, I opened it at work just so that I could see it. And the girl whose cubicle is in front of me, she has one of these at her desk. And I have, I have a smaller diffuser at my desk. It's only like maybe this big, of, this big around. Um, but anyway, I wanted, I wanted this one so bad. And I was really sad that it was part of a limited time offer. Um. Oops. Okay. Look how cool it looks. Doesn't that look so cool? I'm not going to show you the front because it has the name of the company that I work for on it, but isn't that so cool? So then this comes off and that's the water reservoir and um, it has the max fill line and everything and it lights up. Does it have different lights? like different colored lights. Let's see. It doesn't tell me. To select desired light color, so it must have multiple light. Bright, warm light, dim, warm light, and then just off. So, <coughs> it's probably just like a yellow light. Woo, I'm so excited. Um, anyway, I think it's really pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm really excited that I have it. And it has different time settings and everything. Anyway. I'm really excited about it because I seriously was so frustrated and bummed when I went to go pick up my order and they were like, oh, 
we don't have it. It's like, okay, never mind then. So, excuse me. I don't know how long this is at because this is the second segment. We're at 33 minutes of the second segment. Um, but that's okay. We should just go for as long as possible, right? is new or doesn't even have to be new necessarily um, I have a couple plants that are dying that I'm really sad about That's okay. I can make it through my plants dying. Um, I've come to appreciate the fact that the house that we are currently in does not allow for many types of plants to survive and so I have one two three four I have four snake plants up here and down in my kitchen I have two and because we mostly get indirect sunlight, snake plants are really the only thing that will survive. Um, so I have some different varieties of snake plants and they're so cute, like this one is called a lady gray do I need to water it but it's so cute and then I have some other ones and this one over here This one was a cutting off of my father-in-law's plant, which I also need to water, but it is getting some new babies on it. So that's exciting. Hi, Max. Max would like to come inside. Can you go lay down, bud? I'll be out in just a minute. Go lay down. Go lay down. He wants me to come hang out because I got home just a little bit ago. Like basically right before I started recording. So he wants to spend time with me. Max needs his cuddles. Which I don't blame him. I need them too. He was looking at me a little sad, so might need to go give him cuddles sooner than I thought. Or have him come in here while I watch a show instead. <laughs> but
if you are stitching along with me, let me know what you are stitching on. And... If you got any progress, or if, like me, you were kind of squirreling and getting excited about other things while stitching. Um, I know sometimes that happens. I'm just gonna finish this um, last, or this orange triangle that I started on the sun and then I will end the video. make sure that it's going the right way. Let's check the pattern out. Oh yeah, we're good. We are good. Okay. I am feeling like I might need a nap before we go to the movie or go over to my in-laws for dinner because we're going with my mother-in-law and sisters-in-law to the movie. So might need a nap before we head over there for dinner. And I don't think I have that much time for a nap, so we'll see what ends up happening. Maybe just a little resting of the eyes. We will see. Alright, one last stitch. And then We will end the video. So, if you are watching and stitching along with me, thank you so much. I also would like to say thank you, and I will say thank you on my next floss tube as well. Um, but I just wanted to say hello and welcome and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I think a majority of you came from Bridgen's video, which is very nice of you and very nice of Bridgen to give me a shout out, um, which I was like, oh, I should do that in this video, but then I want to do it on my floss tube, so I'll do it on both. But, um, Thank you for joining me, and I hope, well, this is where we got to. So we finished the yellow parts and started on the orange on the outside. So not too shabby for squirreling, but I hope you remember that someone always needs you, and I will see you next time. Bye!